Are you a YouTuber or aspiring to grow your channel? What if I told you there's a tool that can help you save time on all the tedious details once you've filmed and edited your content? Your next secret weapon may just be Taja. This tool streamlines your social media strategy by converting your YouTube videos into multiple engaging posts. This process saves you time and enhances your online presence effortlessly. But wait, there's more. It will also help you with SEO optimization and can even generate thumbnails for you. Before we take a look at Taja, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned and the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's take a look at what Taja has to offer. As we dive into Taja AI, I just want to call out that you do have the ability to start a free trial. So if you want to check things out before signing up for a plan, you can definitely do that. And also be sure to check out the description of this video and you can take advantage of a discount as well. So I'm just going to log in and I'll show you how easy this process is. So you have a couple of options for importing videos. If you have it on a local hard drive or if you have it like a Google Drive or Dropbox, you can import the files from there. If you have a link to like an unlisted video in YouTube that you're working on but you haven't quite finished up, you can paste that here and then it's just going to pull in all of those details. So I'm gonna hit start here. It takes just a little bit but we'll fast forward so you don't have to sit through everything. So the first set of information that you're gonna get is all about the SEO optimization. It's gonna give you a complete overview here and you can, as you can see, I've just used one of my other videos and it's pulled in a title. And as I hover over these things, I can copy them and paste them over into YouTube. You can also just directly connect your account and you could publish from here if you wanted to. So that is an option to be mindful if you're not wanting to go back and forth. So as we continue through the content, we've got a title, we have a description. In this description, you'll also find hashtags, you'll find the chapters that it's broken it down into. You'll see tags. And then it does do the trying to get to the 500 characters. Each of the tags have a score. You can see that the higher ones are highlighted in green there. Do be mindful as like when you're going through the tags, you don't have to use every single one of them. You, If there's something that is generated that doesn't necessarily make sense for your video, I just recommend not using that and finding some additional tags to put in its place. For the title, we've got options here. So it's nice to have generated options. Each of them has a score. So the ones that they have the best are at the top. Never edit videos the same way again. Retouch for me reveal. Love that. It has the product name in there. So a couple of other options that they have for time saving photo editing tricks. Pros don't share. That could be a little misleading, but so you just want to read through them and see what it, what it generates. And if there's anything that you like or you want to tweak, you can do that. As we go down through the description, definitely read through everything. I love that it automatically makes those chapters for you and gives them the titles. And then it's awesome that it also generates hashtags as well. We can see that the tags are broken out in this section. And then you've got a full breakdown of the transcript of the video. And then if you need a thumbnail, you can actually have it generate it. So let's just see what it'll come up with. Let's start with the fully AI generated and we will hit this generate button here. So we can see that we've got some flawless edits and clicks, effortless photo, that's retouch for me, never edit photos, changes everything. There's a lot going on in some of these. Some of them are a little simplistic, but if you're not in the business of making thumbnails or it's something that you don't like to do, then this could be a good option for you. We'll also see what it looks like if we hit add faces from your video and we can hit regenerate. Of course, these will stay at the top and then anything when we hit regenerate, you're not gonna lose anything. It's just gonna be populated right below them. It always chooses the weirdest faces and expressions. Uh, so it may not be the best option if you're trying to let it use an image of your face. It has a couple of titles on there. I kinda like the ones that I generate, so it's definitely something to try if you don't love making thumbnails to see what it can come up with, but it may give you ideas on additional things that you could do if you are creating them yourself. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next step. This was all about that SEO 
optimization. So if we want it to generate clips, we should go and check out the shorts that it produced. So in this one, it said we found five shorts. So it gives you a quick overview of them there. And then when you go down and scroll a little bit on the page, you can watch them and each of them are going to have a score. So we're just gonna take a couple seconds just to give you a quick preview of what this looks like. You need to edit your photos. I'm gonna show you a tool that will make photo retouching a breeze. Whether you're a novice or a professional, you're gonna wanna check these out. I'm gonna show you a few of Retouch for Me's photo retouching tools that not only work as Photoshop. So one of the things that I'm noticing on this, I love how it cropped, you know, got in close, um, but the words are like basically over my mouth. So if I wanted to edit this, I just wanna show you that you do have that option. So if there was a word that was kind of wrong or anything like that, you've got the ability to go in there. And then let's even look at the design. We can do different text options. So that might be something that we want to look at. Uh, if I did that, we've got colors, we've got size, so we can make it a little bit smaller. I'll hit pause there. Let's check auto B-roll with AI. That could be something, it might be good if you had some sort of like podcast uh, clip that you were talking about. With my content, it's a little more specific, and so I'm not sure that the AI B-roll would necessarily work with that. But if you also need to trim the video, you could do that here. My only hope would be to move that text so that it wasn't just directly over my face. But I, but I do have the ability to turn them off if I think that it would just be better if it wasn't showing the captions at all. So I can roll with that if that is something that I want to. So if I do like it, all I have to do is hit that download and let me hit pause on that so I'm not talking over. We can go, let's hit apply and I'm going to go back. And so if that was a short that I liked, I can definitely use that one. And then I just have to go through and watch the others just to see if those are clips that I would like to use. But it definitely makes creating these shorts so much easier so that you have a whole nother outlet to promote your videos if you need to. And so that way you're not manually doing them yourselves. Now, if I want to navigate away from this page, like I had mentioned, if you go to your home screen, you'll be able to see all of the videos that you've uploaded and tested out. So you'll be able to access those at any time. So let me know what you think. If you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the comments and also be sure to take advantage of my discount code for 50% off your first month if you are wanting to try this out yourself. I would love to hear how it works for you and what you think of it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.